Hi, Chris Van here with a quick video on how you can set up Hootsuite to distribute one of your RSS feeds automatically to one of your social networks. Now, what you might like to, why, why you sort of do this is maybe for your website you might have a blog or something like that. Uh, and what you could do is make it so every time you sort of post on that blog, uh, Hootsuite will sort of check that blog every so often. And if there's a new blog, it will then automatically distribute to you, say, your Twitter or your Facebook or something like that. This way, it sort of saves you from having to do it. And more importantly, it sort of gets the article more out there into a social network and more possibility of being found. So what you need to do is uh, log into Hootsuite. Come over to the settings button and then the RSS forward slash Adam. You want to click on the Add New Feed button. In the top, you'll need to insert the feed URL. In this box, you'll need to select the social network you want to distribute it to. Uh, you can only actually select one at a time, so if you want to distribute the one RSS to lots of social networks, you need to do this sort of a few times. Now here you can define how often Hootsuite will actually check this post for, uh, and, oh sorry, this blog for any posts. Uh, if it detects like lots of posts, you can configure it to send just one at a time, or two at a time, or three, or that sort of thing. So if, if you don't sort of want to spam about it, I guess you probably just stick this to one post at a time. Uh, you can leave this button ticked, I would, because it just uh, automatically sort of pulls text from the blog to define the message that's going to post out. And this actually allows you to, I guess, put in characters or automatically go at the beginning of a blog. So as you can see, there's examples here, new blog post or news update. So if you wanted to, you could sort of put in um, yeah, anything like that in this, this area here. Here you can choose the URL shortener. I just leave it as the default. The uh, reason for that is you can still access the sort of Hootsuite analytics if you use their uh, URL shortener. So that's a good option to do. Once you're done, just click Save Feed. Once it's finished loading, you'll see it be added to the list and you can define whether it's on or off simply by sort of pressing these buttons and you can edit and sort of delete anything with these two buttons. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.